Hey guys, okay, so we've all got a lot of snow and I'm posting this video to help you um, protect your back while you're out shoveling. So first thing that you want to think about is becoming more aware of what's going on in your body. So we're going to be using that um, interoception that I talked about on my last um, newsletter that just came out. So really pay attention and listen and that means that you're going to have to slow it down a little bit. And that's okay. It's also going to protect your back and your core and your pelvic floor. So here are the few basics that I wanted to pass on today. Uh, first thing is that you need to create a hip hinge while you're moving. This is going to protect the low back. Okay. So I have a whole video on that on YouTube and it's on squats, uh, creating better awareness with squats. So watch that and that's going to help you get into this drinking duck position. The next thing you want to think about um, is your breath. So when you go to press in, that's your inhale. Then you begin the exhale, and then you begin to toss as you exhale. Okay, so you toss on the exhale. That exhale draws up the pelvic floor, um, keeps the core and the back safe as well. So those are very important things. The other thing you want to think about is using both sides of your body. You have your dominant side, and then you're going to switch to your non-dominant side. That does mean it's going to be a little more challenging. You're going to have to slow it down, maybe take smaller um, shovelfuls. But all in all, that's going to help the body not become so one-sided and tense on that one side. That's really going to help the back. So um, the three pieces are hip hinge, breath, and um, using both sides of the body. And of course, the big thing is becoming more aware of what you're doing, really paying attention. And then when you're done with all that, go inside and roll on those therapy balls that I'm always talking about. Enjoy the snow, stay warm, stay safe. Talk to you next time.